doing my prep and cleaning my nails off with a nail cleanser. This is what we're left with. I did file the free edge just to get rid of any jagged pieces. I will be using the McCart. No, these are Enel Couture long stiletto or something. I honestly don't remember exactly what nails these are. Maybe I'll go try to look around for them, but I do believe they are Enel Couture. So, I'm gonna get them sized here. I will be putting these on the normal way with some nail gel because I plan on building on top of these. There's something in particular that I am trying to do. Once I get the nails all sized out, I'll run you through what my design idea is. dusty here but after a little bit of filing I really just went around the cuticles I did this with a hand file with a hundred grit around the cuticles and the sidewalls just to pull those in since I will be layering hard gel on top of these I wanted to kind of pull the bulkness of the nail down a little bit and then um, I went to the 180 side just to smooth the top and then I did some reshaping on these two because I put them on crooked so this one's not too bad but the thumb was hell of crooked like you can still see like we're not you know so oh it's annoying but whatever maybe I'll do this one jeweled so you won't notice it as much but anyway here are my selections well we'll start from the bottom up so first off we're gonna be doing the Aurora effect again I did I have one video up on my channel of that so I will link that in the cards that was my first attempt I have done it a couple other times but never a true attempt so yeah I spent all night well not all night girl I'm being dramatic but I planned this look out last night I went ahead and pulled all my glitters and colors and stuff so yeah it's been a minute since I've really had this solid of an idea going into it so hopefully this comes out cute but yes the polish I'm gonna be using this is from Valentino number 67 don't remember what if this was part of a specific collection but there's that one and then I'll be using this McCart glitter polish I believe this is from their mermaid glitter collection my powder I will be using this blue one here and this little grid is from Aliexpress and then I've got a little selection of glitters here got some shards I want to say those are from glitter planet and then I've got this mix of kind of hollow blue and that is from Aliexpress then I've got some little decoration pieces got some silver moons and then some silver stars here I've got some flat textured and then some kind of shiny shine finished and then I've got some holographic flares here and then my mirror paper I believe this is from a set that came from Amazon but this is just kind of a blue it's kind of a fuchsia color that reflects blue and I don't know this is hard to explain but <laughs> you can see that's that it's kind of like your traditional looking mermaid paper and then these I don't know if I'm gonna work them in yet but these are just little iridescent um, caviar beads so that will be the Aurora nail and then as far as like my decoration nail I want to do one jeweled nail for each I'm gonna do the Aurora nails first and then we'll kind of see or I'll just play it by eye and see how they come together so first off we are going to paint the Aurora nails so 
think I'm gonna do okay and I'm gonna take it easy on this layer I'm gonna do one layer and I want it to be somewhat of a thin layer Okay, and I rubbed a little bit of the powder. I kind of like how it, like I didn't try to cover the whole nail with the blue. You see, I kind of started off there. I thought it would be a little less opaque than that. I was, I don't know, I kind of feel like I wanted more of the purple in there instead of the blue, but whatevs. But now we're going to go over those with our glitter here. And I love this glitter because you look at it in the bottle and you think it's going to be a lot more opaque than it is, but I love that kind of the sheen it gives off. It's uh, more of a pearlized glitter. Okay, and now I'm going to put some of my finer glitters. So I'm going to move these because these are actually going to be for my decoration nails. So this is kind of what I'm working with here. So I just want to take some of these and just kind of put them in the background here. bling and next we've got our paper so get a little some scissors here you just want to measure it up against your nail and then we're gonna cut and then we just want to taper the ends in so this will fit nicely against the nail without having to bulk it up because when you go to put your gel around it whatever sticks up is going to catch the edge of that gel and that's going to increase the bulkiness of your nail. Alright, so we got our little piece there. And I will be using gel. Sorry, I'll have to show you on my other hand how I got that on, but this is what we're looking at right now. I was having trouble getting the paper to stick down, so you see, I pretty much got the nails as thick as I'm personally comfortable with, and we still got, see that little, that's the ridge of the paper there, so I don't know once we go to actually file these how much of this I'm going to lose, but so far love the effect so we are going to do the other hand and i think i'm going to do these two nails this time <music> and then I'm going to go around the perimeter of the paper with a layer and then I'll cure again and then we will pretty much however many layers to get it to look somewhat even so I can file it 
this hand going. I just decided to do a glitter and then with the little decorative pieces because I feel like these are kind of loud enough because originally I was going to do like a little painted sky sort of situation with these little pieces on top but I actually like the way this looks. So to do that all I did was, I think I'm going to do this one as my glitter nail. So I just use a coat of base coat here and we make it pretty thick because we want the glitter to stick to it and to be somewhat engulfed a little bit. So we make sure we have that completely covered and then I go over very slowly kind of focusing this on the bottom part of the nail. Then with our shards, we are focusing these primarily at the tip here. I don't know if any of those even got on the nail and then kind of a little bit on top there. We're gonna give it a little press, little press. All right. And then we're going to go over it with a layer of gel and then for the alloy I'm going to go in with the same glitter polish that I used on the Aurora nails and then I'm going to use the rest of these little flares and then I'm going to go over with a coat of this. And the hard gel is mainly just to add strength because I don't want my thumbnails to be, you know, noticeably thinner than the rest of my nails. All right, guys, and that's it. I, I apologize. I don't know what happened to the rest of the footage, but... I don't even like the way my thumbs turned out anyway, which is why you don't see them in this footage, but I like the way the rest of the set turned out. These are actually super cute, but honestly, I've become a bit of a size queen. <laughs> they just weren't long enough for me, so I just, I didn't keep them on for as long as I usually do, but these were so cute. So if you guys enjoyed this set, then give me a like and a comment down below and to my new viewers make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button i appreciate you all for watching and until next time bye